Well, don't head, thank you. Right, now to go and find somewhere to camp. Hi everyone, just a quick video. Um, managed to get a couple hours kip. Um, got my tent up. Um, I'm back awake now though, getting the bike packed away. I'm getting eaten alive by bugs, which is why I've got my balaclava um, over me. Um, but I need to get on the road. Um, but I'm now heading off to Ardmurukan Lighthouse. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop somewhere to get some water though. I'm out of water now, I've drank all my water. Gosh, this looks different during when it's light. <laughs> looks lovely. So Google Maps is saying seven hours. I've got until midday, so take off seven, 12 from seven, that's five. So I've got 45 minutes to spare, so I mustn't hang around. I used my uh, extra fuel can that was carrying as well. I topped up with fuel. But there's no petrol stations open around here from what I could see. So in the last uh, two minutes there, I've literally just had two deer run out into the road in front of me. Hey, okay, so just on my way uh, back down to Inverness. Just before I was mentioning about the deer in the road, saw a few up at Dunnet Head there. Um, just gone past an incident. I didn't. I didn't film it. Um, a car had hit a, a deer, and I think the, by the deer had been killed. The car was completely smashed up. The police were there sorting everything out, and I just obviously slowed down and went past. But just a kind of stark reminder of how, uh, especially at this time of day, these roads you have to be so vigilant. Oh yeah, it's woken me up a bit. That to be honest. So I'm just down in Inverness. It's uh, 10 to 7 in the morning. Um, I've done 100. 30 miles since I set off this morning from Dunnethead. I'm really aching, especially my legs, my thighs, where I'm kind of like gripped the bike um, and my calves are hurting and I'm so tired, but. So I'm just heading along the uh, A72 from uh, Inverness towards Fort William. Uh, first time I've ever been on this road actually, and it's delightful. I need to get some petrol because I've only got 68 miles left and this was the challenge I thought I might have with riding at night. There's very few petrol stations open. That's me just coming into Fort Augustus now. Well, it looks like it's pit pump, thankfully. Oh my gosh. Oh, I am aching. <laughs> Just uh, missed me stalling the bike at the petrol station because I had left the stand down. <laughs> Classic. Um, ooh, we're just passing over the Caledonian Canal. I think my wife has sailed through here. Um, I'm just leaving Fort Augustus now. Heading for, next stop is Ardmarukan. I'm hoping not to stop in between. It's about a three hour ride. Uh, I think I've got about, well it's, it's quarter past eight now. So I've got about a 45 minute buffer for traffic. Um, anything going wrong or if I need to take an extra stop or if that road to along the Ardmarukan Peninsula takes longer than expected and hopefully we'll make it in time. So here we go, final stretch. Even though it's cloudy, it's an absolutely beautiful view along here. The Great Glen, as they call it, absolutely fabulous. So after a couple of days of lovely weather, it seems uh, I'm going to experience the true Scottish weather. I've just uh, turned off the A82 and I'm heading towards um, Malig. And uh, after, I don't know how many miles, we uh, we turn off uh, to head to Ardmarukan. Exciting times. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got to go past the Glen Finn and uh, Fireduct. And it's further after that. I was too busy enjoying the road. <laughs> uh, I missed the junction. Should only have cost me a couple of minutes, but... Ugh. I saw it, I saw the, I knew it was the 861, but I saw it right at the last minute, I'd already fired past. Oh gosh. 
to make sure I know where I'm going after. Oh, stunning view though, eh? Wow! So I'm just on the, the road that um, that takes me through to the peninsula, the Ardmurican um, peninsula. And it's gone from being just a sort of standard A road to this sort of funky little A road with... Um, it gets like really thin in places here, yep. And there's like passing places for people to go past. Although because I'm on the bike, there's a lot of people just aren't bothering, which is odd. Um, yeah, and it's really slow progress. I can see why it takes two and a half hours from Fort William, because on the map it's like it's like 50 miles. Um, but at this speed, no wonder. So I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. It's just coming up for 10 o'clock. Um, I just hope I don't get stuck behind anything, because so far it's been clear. So I've just uh, turned on to the, uh, the B8007, which is the final road. Um, it's 25 miles to the lighthouse and it's 10 o'clock so I'm hoping I'm hoping it's not going to take me more than two hours otherwise something's gone badly wrong but we'll see I guess this is going to become the problem isn't it having to sl <coughs> slow down like that all the time <coughs> so I decided just to try and stand up on the pegs for a little bit so these are uh, passing places are really quite uh, are quite difficult to see over because of all the hedgerows and stuff and so we're still going another 50 worth well, yeah 15 miles to go what a view though eh? beautiful so it looks like we've got to go up over up this big hill it's half past 10 so I've still got an hour and a half but I'm not counting my chickens because it's taken me about half an hour to do 10 miles so if it's another half an hour to do the next 10 miles that's uh, 11. I'm ready for this to be finished though. This has been quite a punishing way to end it. It's been really frustrating. Whoa, that was too close. Um, just been no way to get any momentum on this part of the road. What a stunning part of the world though, eh? I feel lucky to come and visit on such a nice day. Right, so that's just coming into the last uh, five miles. <coughs> still going no wonder it says it takes so long it's just insane how long it is and how slow it is keep jumping up on the pegs as well to try and um, get a better view of what's coming also there's tons of gravel which really isn't fun back end slipped out before just these like hidden dips and i'm hoping if uh, i'll be able to see the other cars and they'll be able to see me uh, there's also the sheep to contend with. Four miles to go. Four miles. Still four more miles of this. I hope they've got a cafe with some chips. I think this is uh, eight. So firstly, I'm, I'm glad I'm not doing this at night. So I did done it head in the dark, which is bad enough, but that seems to be a more well-traversed um, route than this. But imagine doing this at night. This would just be an absolute nightmare. The worst thing is I've got to go back and do another 25 miles of it just to, well, to get on the big road before uh, to go to Fort William. Well, I'm going to have a look at the map and see if there's a... I just saw there's a ferry there that goes to Tobermory. I wonder if that's going to be a more interesting route back than just sort of going the way that I've come because this is... Uh, I'm not in a particularly patient mood after, uh, after riding for the last... That's just clicked in at 23 hours. 23 hours I've been on the road now. Missed the flipping green light. Right. Here it is. Ardna Murugan Lighthouse. Twenty three hours and twenty minutes. Oh yeah, I'm here. Oh made it. Hi everyone. I hope you can hear me. It's very windy up here. But I made it. Hard work.
Lincoln, Lighthouse. Four corners of Scotland in 23 hours and 20 minutes exactly. I am absolutely shattered, absolutely shattered. Um, but it's an amazing feeling to have got here um, and to have completed this challenge. A little bit emotional actually. Um, no, it's great. And with all the messages and all the donations and all the sharing, it's made it so much easier knowing having so many people behind me. Um, and it's just been great. It feels 